I'm back again photographing cottonwood trees. Got a lot of response from my last video from shooting Ilford Delta 100 at 50 ISO. And when I mentioned I could shoot it at 10 ISO, it piqued a lot of interest. And I want to shoot more stuff with this lens at 10 ISO. So I'm back doing another test. Everything today we're going to shoot at 10 ISO and I'm going to develop for only four and a half minutes in D76 at one to one. I'm going to try to get a few pictures of cottonwoods because we shot that last time. I want to continue that and so we can see exactly what the difference was between 50 ISO and 10 ISO. I don't think we're really going to notice a grain difference because even at 100 ISO with Delta on 8x10 film, there's virtually no grain. I am simply shooting at 10 ISO to get a slower shutter speed. Hopefully I can get down to one second, which I can time it, and then my development and exposure will be much closer and much better. Metering this scene is so easy. All these trees are gray, it's just like one gigantic gray card. But even in the darkest shadows at 10 ISO, the sun is setting, but it's still fairly high in the sky. My exposure is an eighth of a second at F8. So I'm gonna give that a try. It's not close to what I wanted yet, but we'll wait a little bit tonight and then we'll see where I, if I can get into the range that I want. And one of the things that I always do when I'm out in the field shooting is I always have some artist tape and I tape my slides in on to the holder so that in the bag they can never pop out and then you lose a frame because I've done that before a few times. And film is too expensive these days to be losing any frames. I don't know if you can hear them, but the loons are calling. It's one of the joys of landscape photography and one of the joys of living in Alberta. It doesn't take me very long to get out of the city and get to a place like this and sitting in the back where there's nobody around, getting to enjoy your dinner. I saw two rattlesnakes today already going through the grass and this is really a great place to be and especially now with what's going on, it's just great to get away and practice your craft of photography. All right, let's go down the road and see what else we can find. I 
These old cottonwood trees are great. What happened here was in 1989, a big fire ripped through this whole valley and burnt a lot of them. And that's why you're seeing them, how they look so old and decrepit like this. But there's one more tree here that I'm gonna photograph and then we're gonna go off into the prairies and try to shoot a few more other things with uh, this Ilford Delta rated at 10. But this tree behind me looks really great. I'm gonna try for one more shot of that. As you can see, not a huge difference in the actual look of the negative. Once you scan the negative, you can bring it down. These negatives were a little bit overexposed as well. I still couldn't get my shutter speed down to where I wanted it, but shooting Delta 100 at ISO 10 really helped me out. This dinosaur, like this dinosaur lens, is really, really a fabulous lens to use. I'm still gonna look for a neutral density filter that I can put up front, and that's gonna help me a lot during the day. Hope you like this episode and this little test of Delta 100. And again, if you're gonna shoot a new film or try a new technique, it's great to test it out. I'm pretty much ready to go with this now, and I can start doing some serious work. Don't forget to subscribe. Everyone stay safe. Cheers. One of the things that I always carry with me is a first aid kit slice my hand open on a tripod or the camera, which I almost always do. And out in the field, in the middle of nowhere, it's good to have one of these things to do some self-medication.